Karibu kwa taarifa kamili za KTN leo. Mimi naitwa Ali Manzu mtangazaji mwenzangu kupitia lugha ya ishara ni Meresha Owiti. Aliyekuwa gavana wa kaunti ya Kakamega Wycliffe wa Oparanya pamoja na wake zake wawili wamehojiwa mchana kuto na maafisa wa tume ya maadili na kupambana na ufisadi EACC katika makao makuu ya Integrity Center kuhusiana na madai ya ubadhirifu wa kima cha shilingi bilioni moja nukta tatu katika kipindi cha mihula miwili ambacho walihudumu kama gavana baadhi ya wanasiasa walizuiliwa kuingia kwenye makao hayo huku viongozi wa azimio Martha Karua na Jeremiah Kioni wakisema pana mkono wa kisiasa oparanya ameondoka kwenye makao hayo muda mfupi uliopita na kuzungumza na wanahabari is not oparanya to disrupt a presidential function you made promises to Kenyans you made promises about nzoia sugar about mumia about that road called C41 you know it so and C44 so when you go to western kenya you expect that people will ask you those questions it is not anyone in ODM who's planning to disrupt the presidential function when he goes there he should expect that the people of western will ask him what have you done in the one year why did you impose on us this punitive tax when is the bay of ugali coming down he will be asked those questions and it is even if you look as all of us unless you go to western and lock everybody up But for as long as you're going to meet Wananchi, you must be guaranteed that they will ask you questions about the promises you made and what the government has done on revival of Mumia Sugar, on revival of Nzoia Sugar, on the roads that you promised are going to be uh, constructed. So this is all a political witch hunt. There is a new crop, there is a new animal in the town called ESCC that is operating as a rogue ESCC where somebody can authorize four raids in Oparanya's homes, two without a warrant, a search warrant, without a seizure warrant. Then they go further, arrest the spouses, children, and wives of Oparanya. It has never happened. But this has happened under the watch of Bishop Oginde. I shall be talking to Azimio to instruct me to move to disband the ESCC. This is uh, it's amazing uh, to say the least um, that at this time and age with our new constitution that is uh, celebrated all over the world we still see people behaving this way. Of course with uh, Pastor Oginde we thought that this place would be better. We didn't see uh, Archbishop Wabukara uh, allowing ESCC to go to behave this way. So you can actually see a de degeneration of uh, our country going down the drain slowly. They asked me a few questions if I had guns in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the house. What business do I do with Baba? And then they said they had some few issues to ask me about Kakamega County. Uh, when I came here, I told them I was not in a position to answer any question until I'm briefed on issues that I'm supposed to comment on. So that I acquaint myself on the issues because you know very well, uh, I left the county one year ago and I'm not privy to the documents that they have from the county. And also they, were, they wanted issues to do with 2013, 2014, which obviously I could not remember. So uh, we have been here, um, they studied the interviews, but they could not go far because I could not remember some of the issues. So they, they, we agreed that they will avail the, the issues to me so that I can come later uh, to clarify on some of the issues. Tazamaji taarifa zaidi utazipata kwenye KTN